Welcome to Explore Analytics. Today we're going to take a look at Earned Value Management. Earned Value Management is a strategy for tracking how your project is performing over time in a very specific way. We're going to show you how Explore Analytics can help you generate an Earned Value Management report for ServiceNow, and we're going to show you how you can get it in real time and embed it in ServiceNow dashboards. So the, if you're not familiar with Earned Value Management, what is it? The goal of Earned Value Management, or EVM, is to be able to measure performance and progress on a project while taking into account the scope, the time, and the costs. We want to make sure that we understand all three of those, the scope, the time, and the costs, when we measure performance and progress. To understand kind of why that's a slightly different approach, maybe best explained through this hypothetical. Let's say we have a project that's been scheduled to take a year, and we're now six months into it. So far, we've spent 50% of that project's budget. So the question is, is this project on track? The correct answer to this hypothetical is, we don't actually have enough information to answer this question. The reason is because we don't know how much work has been performed relative to the plan. So for example, if we've spent 50% of the budget, but have actually only completed 25% of the tasks, then we're actually very badly behind and over budget. On the other hand, if we're very close to completing the project and we did it in half the amount of time and half the budget, then we're actually doing really well. So there's a key piece missing, and earned value management is a way to be able to answer this question very specifically. Earned value management involves tracking three different parts. The first is something called planned value. Planned value, uh, which is also known as budgeted cost of the work scheduled, is a measure of the cumulative costs of the project over time. This answers the question, what did we plan for the project to have spent at this point in time? Let's take an example of planned value. So let's say we're six months into a 12-month project. According to our original project plan, we should have executed these two tasks. One is the kickoff and the other is design, and both of them had a planned value of $100. Now, in some cases, you might be using dollar figures, or in other cases, you might be using a measure of hours of work, right, depending on how you run your project management, but usually earned value management tends to use dollars. Uh, so long as you're consistent, you make sure that you have the same, you know, unit. Uh, typically, that's how you're tracking earn in earned value management. So in this example, our planned value at six months is $200, because that's how much value we'd expect to, to have completed at the end of six months. Let's take a look at the second. The second component of earned value management is called earned value. This is the real key of earned value management. It's also called budgeted cost of the work performed. It's a measure of how much of the work have we completed so far. It answers the question, so based on changes to our schedule, running ahead or behind, what would we have expected to spend in the original plan? So let's take a look at the earned value example. Again, we're six months into a 12-month project, and again, according to our project plan, we should have executed two tasks, the kickoff and design, each for $100. But because we're ahead of schedule, we've also completed another task, which is to announce the design, also for $100. So our earned value at six months is $300, as opposed to our planned value of $200. So in this way, we can get a sense that we're ahead of where we're supposed to be, right? At this point in the project, we should have received, you know, achieved $200 of value, and actually we have $300. But right now, this is still looking at a uh, comparing apples to apples of what those tasks were planned to have been. So the last element is actual cost, which is what did we actually expend to get where we are so far? It's the most straightforward and kind of easiest to grasp, so we'll go straight to the example. We're six months into a 12-month project, and we've executed these two tasks, but now we know that originally they were scheduled for $100 each, but they each came in at $50 each. And we've also completed another task, which is uh, to uh, announce the designs that also came in at $50. So at six months, the actual cost of our project is $150 compared to our earned value of $300 and our planned value of $200. So what does this tell us? Well, for one thing, it tells us that even though we're halfway through the project, we don't know what the end result of the project is. Based on what we know right now, we're delivering the value much faster than we were originally planning to. 
we should have delivered $200 of value, and we've delivered $300 of value. We also know that we've actually delivered that value much more efficiently as well, because even though we got $300 worth of value out by completing the task we said to, that we were going to complete, we completed it at half of the actual cost. So what that tells us is even though $150 looks like it's less than our $200 planned value, we've actually gotten more bang for our buck. So we're both ahead of schedule and ahead of, ahead of budget, the ideal of where we want to be. Now, usually, you, when you put it all together, the ideal is to have a chart that looks like this. So this is another hypothetical project, and we have what's called an Earned Value Management Report, an EVM report, that's showing for this project what the planned, the earned, and the actual costs are around this project. Now, without knowing anything about the project, you don't have access to the project plan or the tasks, you can still tell something very interesting out of this report. So let's go through those steps again. Let's compare the earned value to the planned value. The earned value is $97,500, and the planned value is 105000 So in this case, the earned value is less than the planned value, which tells us that we haven't achieved everything we set out to achieve so far. And maybe some tasks moved ahead and other tasks moved behind, but cumulatively, we know that it's true. Overall, we've fallen behind. We also see something else, which is that the actual cost is ahead of the earned value, which tells us that we're spending more even though we're falling behind. If these trends continue, we would expect this project to be coming in over budget and behind schedule. So knowing that now, I can already work with my project managers and my resources to see how can we get this project back on track. Now. The reason we're going to do this with Explore Analytics is because one thing that we often hear is that this kind of a sophisticated report it may be difficult to do with existing tool sets. Uh, you know, out, out of the box reporting in ServiceNow don't necessarily let you combine multiple of these measures together and, and put things in real time. So you might have to build it in Excel or might need to uh, schedule things, you know, to go into a data warehouse. So Explore Analytics is going to show you how you can do this in just a few clicks. Explore Analytics is a very complete reporting solution, and so one of the things I want to focus on is the fact that we can turn this into a real-time operational dashboard. So not just tracking this value over time, but having it be in a dashboard where a project manager can actually take a look at the project and respond to changes in those values in real time. We're going to walk through creating this earned value management report against ServiceNow data. Now, we're going to make some assumptions about the service now, how you're using the PPM suite. So you may need to tweak this depending on how you've implemented project and portfolio management, but a lot of the fundamentals will be there. I'm going to start by selecting service now as the data source for a new report, and I'm going to select the project task table, which is what we're going to use to kind of define the elements of the project. And I'm going to turn this into a chart, and we're going to call this our planned value report and I'm going to click finish. For this kind of report I'm actually going to use a timeline and it's going to give me a, a real-time timeline and we're going to measure for the planned value based on the planned end date. So the value is going to be delivered week over week by when those tasks are planned to end. Right, so again, we want to make sure that this comes out, you know, we're realizing the value at the end of each task. And I'm going to filter to look at a particular project. So in this one, uh, I'm going to select uh, where the tasks where the top task is a particular project. So now we're starting to get somewhere, but we're not measuring what we want. Right now we're just counting how many tasks there are. And you'll see that for this project there might be five tasks one week and six tasks another. That's why we don't use the, the number of tasks as a way to measure this, because we actually have no visibility into how much they are. So I'm going to click the X to remove that. And instead we're going to measure this based on estimated cost. Now there's a few different fields in ServiceNow we might use. There's one called budget cost. You could also use things like planned effort. But for right now, I'm going to use the estimated cost field. I'll drag that into the values. It prompts me to use this as a sum. I'm going to call this planned value. 
And I'm going to click display as to say show this as a running total. The reason is because we want to see how the planned value moves cumulatively over time, right? Because we're always asking how much in sum should we have spent from now to the beginning of the project. So I'm going to say running total. And now I have a planned value curve. Now you can see that there's sometimes where there's more planned value added, sometimes where it doesn't increase very much, and that's because projects are rarely evenly, perfectly evenly distributed. But because we have this running total, we know that at the top right, this is the total cost of the project, the 168,000. And if I pick a particular point in time, I can see what the planned value in sum should be at that time. Great. So now you have this planned value report, and we want to look at doing the same for earned value. Now, because we've already done some good work here, I'm just going to go to file and say make a va uh, copy, and I'm going to go with earned value report. So I don't have to start from scratch. I already have a task a, uh, report against the project task table. It's already grouped by planned end date and week. But now I actually want to take a look just at the... Um, tasks that are complete. So I'm going to add a filter to say uh, where percent complete is 100%. And again, in some cases, you might want to use the state or some other way of filtering. And instead of get, grouping it by when we plan to end the tasks, we actually want to look at when they were actually completed. So I'm going to use the work end field. And then lastly, I'm just going to relabel this to be uh, earned value instead of planned value. So now we can say this is for the tasks that were completed based on when they were completed, how that earned value evolves over time. Now I'm going to create another copy and we're going to call this actual cost report. So again, this filtered for the top same task 100% complete and based on where the work ends. But instead of that estimated value field we were using before, I'm going to remove that and find a field called actual cost. And then select that. Again, we want to relabel it to be actual cost. And again, we want to make sure that this is a running total. So now we're going to see this is the sum over time of those actual costs. So now I have these three reports, one for actual cost, one for earned value, and one for planned value. To combine this information together, I'm going to go to File and select a new mashup view. And I'm just going to select, to build my EVM, I'm going to select a report called planned value report. And you see it's an autocomplete. And the actual cost report. And I could add as many as I want and click OK. And in the chart settings, I want to merge the Y axis so that we're uh, dealing with apples to apples. So this is that report you saw before. It has the planned value, the earned value, the actual cost. I can you know, focus on any one of them. If I wanted to, I could also do calculations. So if I wanted to see a cost, actual cost, as a percent of earned value, I could create these formulas. But, you know, the classical EVM report has these three lines that we can look at. Here's the advantage of what we've built in, uh, in Explore Analytics, however. These reports, these three charts that I created, all of those are running against ServiceNow's project and portfolio management application in real time. So if someone marks a, a task complete, it's going to immediately update that earned value. I don't have to import a spreadsheet. I don't have to do anything to refresh the data. It's actually a real-time report. The other great aspect of this is I can click and I can say, show me the details. And it's going to take me down to this list and I can see these are the tasks. This is one of the ones that was scheduled to be done this week. These are the ones that are completed. And I can even click to actually open up that individual task. So you, as a project manager, your EVM report isn't separate or, or difficult to connect back to the actual things that are going on. This project is falling a little bit behind. I want to know what's going on. I can immediately go in, make updates, you know, make requests from the person who's participating in it. So they're very actionable and action-oriented. 
Lastly, I can actually embed this into the ServiceNow dashboard or into other portals and make it very easy for people to interact with it. I've actually created a Explore Analytics dashboard to better show this. If you take a look at this dashboard, you'll see that I have a couple reports, one's for current risks and issues, the other one's earned value management for project. I can select an individual project manager and update the list of projects here. And then I can, from within that, select to see an individual project, and it's going to show me those the results of that report you know, per project. So I can have one place to go to to switch between different projects, to compare things, and then also to take a look at other reports that might have to do with uh, other key indicators. If you're interested in understanding more about these resource management charts, we have a video on that subject as well. But I have this dashboard. Now let's distribute it. I can schedule it to be sent out. So if I want weekly people to refer back to this, I could schedule it to be sent out via email. But for right now, I'm actually going to publish this to the ServiceNow dashboard. I'll select ServiceNow, select which instance of ServiceNow. And when I click Publish, I'll have a URL that I could send people directly to, an embed code if I wanted to put this in a SharePoint or an intranet portal. But let's go over to my ServiceNow environment. I'm going to click Add Content and find Explore Analytics and find my report called uh, Project Executive Status. And I'm going to put this at the top of this home page. So now embedded into ServiceNow or embedded into any other portal, I can come, I can have a real time interactive report that's completely configurable, completely drillable, that will tell me what's going on for my project in terms of planned, earned, and actual costs. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see that video about uh, resource management, there's a, that's also here on this, uh, this YouTube channel. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more, you can go to our wiki, you can go to our website. Uh, we'd be happy to uh, give you a look.